Hey guys, welcome to my Drake candle review. I am so excited to be doing this video. You have no idea. When I heard that Drake was coming out with a line of candles, including one that's supposed to smell like him, I was all over it. And you know, I'm saying I got it for the jokes, okay? I think it's pretty funny to have a candle in your home that smells like Drake. I feel like it's a conversation piece, right? But my sister doesn't think it's jokes. She thinks like it's serious. <laughs> but you know, I mean, I wouldn't mind smelling the real Drake in person. I feel like it is required. I feel like this review will be incomplete and a part two will be needed. So Drake, if you're watching this, let's do the real comparison, the real test if this really, really smells like you. So anyways, the candle that I got is the Carby Musk scent and this one is actually more expensive than all the other candles in the line and let me tell you for the premium I better smell this outside here's the box up close you can see that the design is very minimal and you have the initials of the candle company better world fragrance house embossed on each side of the box I also wanted to comment on the box that it comes in and I think it's interesting. So okay, when you open it, it says Better World Fragrance House, but then the tape says that this is an experiment. So this is an experiment by Better World Fragrance House and I just want to know what type of experiment are we running here? Okay, <laughs> like I feel like I need to know that. I didn't find anything to let me know what the experiment is. Maybe like who would go out and buy a Drake candle? <laughs> when you open the box, you're gonna find the candle inside, which is in a blue glass jar, and a marker next to it for you to be able to personalize the jar. And the marker has the initials of the candle company in gold on it. And I'm gonna take this out. So you can see the bottom right here is clear and the candle itself, the wax is white. And on the front, you'll see another very minimalist design with his signature and the logo. And then on the back, it'll say the name of the fragrance. So again, this one is Carby Musk and then it'll say four and you can write whatever you want here. And you know, the jury is still out on <laughs> what I'm gonna write here. Um, I kind of feel like I don't wanna do it. It's gonna like ruin it. I wanna leave it blank. But then, you know, I think that I would want for Drake to write <laughs> my name on it, but I don't know. I mean, I have pretty good handwriting, but again, we're talking too much about <laughs> gonna dedicate this to. I think we just need to get to the important part which is what does Drake smell like? So first I'm gonna tell you about the notes according to the website because let me tell you if they didn't write this out I wouldn't be able to tell you a thing. Well besides one and I'll get to it. So it says here that it is a layering of sweet velvet powdery musks along with musks of soft floral, amber, and marine connotations um, that make this an incredibly unique must-have. So um, I paraphrase there. The thing that I really, really get um, when I smell it is the floral aspect of it, but it's not uh, a, a kind of floral that would give me a headache because I am very sensitive to fragrance. It still smells masculine and after reading the notes, you can get that marine connotation that they talk about. So, I mean, if Drake smells like this, incredible, <laughs> okay? It's like super intoxicating when you're just smelling it like this up close. And as you can see, I, I haven't um, lit this candle yet, so I don't know how it's gonna smell in my home, but just smelling it like this, it just, oh, this smells like luxury, okay? This smells like what I deserve. So the technology that is in this candle, it's called trail air technology, which means it's made to linger in the air longer. So I want that to be true. I want to smell it from outside of my apartment. Okay, <laughs> so this 
particular scent, the Carby Musk. This one costs $80. And then the other ones, let's see, I'll pick Good Thoughts. Good Thoughts costs 48 So the other ones cost 48 and this one costs 80 And this one is the one that has that technology and it's supposed to smell like Drake. Um, I wonder if the sizes are different too. You know, they're both 290 grams. In terms of the burn time, the packaging says that it's from 48 to 63 hours. Sounds really good. The glass is like see-through, but one thing is that you are gonna get fingerprints all over it. Um, but it's very nice and heavy and thick. I don't know if you guys can see like that white mark there that seems to be on the inside and there's one on this side too which you may not be able to see above the M which I don't know what that's about but I didn't I, I don't know because it almost looks like it's fluorescent so I don't know what that is but um, if it's like a scratch or something on the side with the name but I'm going to light it because I want to see how it makes my apartment smell and then we can come back and talk about it and give our final thoughts. I mean, if I can ever put this down, I will light it. I wish, and this is a note, I really want a lid because I really don't like when you can get lint inside. So, you know, if I buy a really expensive item like this, an expensive candle, I'm not gonna light it all the time and I wanna have it out. It's it's a piece of decor for me. So I want to be able to have a lid on it so that I don't get um, any lint or dust. And right now you can't see because of the lighting, but there's already lint and dust and I only opened this today. So I really don't want that with this candle, but I'm gonna light it and we're gonna see if the technology is really up to par. I've been burning the candle for a few hours and I loved the fragrance. I loved sitting next to the couch and having this just waft over and just getting that little hint of the scent. And it's something that when you unbox it and you smell it before you start burning it, it's such a strong and intoxicating scent. It just really packs a punch that you might even be a little afraid to burn it thinking that it might be too strong for you. So um, I'm speaking as someone who is sensitive to certain fragrances and I can get a headache if it's too strong. Once you start burning it, it's not as strong. And so it's very gentle. So I think for me, the value in this is more of the conversation piece, the decor, um, you know, um, something that's a collectible because even when I eventually, you know, finish burning the candle, I'll keep the container and I'll use it for something else. So that's why I don't mind purchasing certain expensive candles because I know that I'm going to keep the jar and repurpose it. So it is definitely worth it for me. Now, is it going to be worth $80 to you? You know, that's something that you can only answer for yourself. But as for me, listen, I know what Drake smells like now. Well, what I think he smells like. And now the real test is meeting Drake in person and seeing, does it match? Does his scent match the candle? So, you know, the world may never know. But um, as for me, this candle... It's lovely. As far as the technology goes, I can't really speak to that on a first impression. I don't know how it's really gonna linger in the air after I'm done burning it because I had been inhaling this scent for about an hour prior to filming this video because I was filming a reel. <laughs> I was filming another video. So uh, it's like, oh, is it? going to be lingering in the air for longer or is it just trapped in my nose from the amount of times that I was smelling it for the video but uh you know as far as how it smells like while I'm just sitting next to it really gentle really nice I mean just imagine Drake sitting next to you at his fragrance just gently coming on by you know uh just so romantical. <laughs> 
I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know if you're getting any of the Drake candles in the description box. I'll leave a link if you want to go uh, check it out for yourself and see what's available in the descriptions. And I will catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.